Okay, in the last video we went through um, how we export the DXF sketch files from Fusion 360 here um, and open them up in Adobe Illustrator so that we can then put together the, all the different sketches for our cutout on the laser cutter. Now, what we'll do is we'll go back to Adobe Illustrator and you can see I've got each of them open here. So the center ring, attachment fin, bottom ring, fin and top ring. And what we're going to do now is start a new document. So we'll click File, New. And this new document should be a width of, we'll make it uh, 850 millimeters and a height of 350 millimeters. There's a couple more things we need to do before we start working with it. We need to make sure unit says millimeters just here. And in the advanced area, we need to change it from CMYK to RGB. Click OK. And it should open up a brand new canvas just like that that we can put things on. So I'm going to start by putting together um, all my fins onto this page. So what my aim is to do, so I need to select everything like that. I'm just going to right click it and select group. We need to copy each of these. So I'll just reselect that. And I'm going to hit Control C on the keyboard. Come to my document here click Control v you can see that it just fits within the space I've got and in my case I'm going to rotate mine around because what I'm trying to do now is what we call nest the parts okay and I'm going to get, need to go through and do this over and over again so I have multiple of them I'm going to start nesting up in the top left corner here and with this particular part I need to bring it over a little bit so that I've got it as close as I can to the edge here because I want to take up the least amount of space possible. I'm going to do the same with this one, so we'll move it over, make sure it matches the middle of that one, move it really close but not touching, just like that. Alright, so I've got a little bit of space between them and I'm just going to go ahead and add in the correct number that I need for my lamp, which in my case would be 44. So, go ahead and do that. Alright, so as you can see there, have all the attachment fins ready now. So there is 44 of them there. Now I've got to add in the rest of the parts now. And I'm going to try and add them in as close as I can into this area down the end. We'll see how well that goes. So to start off with, we want the bottom ring. That's our next biggest part. So I'm going to select everything. Right click them. Select group. And then Control c to copy. Control v to paste into my document. That one obviously fits quite nicely, just in that leftover area. Now I need my top ring. Select all, right click, group, control C, come to the new document, control V. We'll just put that one inside the other circle, like that, that should do. Now I need my centering as well. So select that one, click, and this one's already grouped, so I'll just control C to copy. Control B to paste, put that one in the center of these circles as well, there we are. And the last thing I need to add into this is the attachment fin, so I've got four of those. Now this might be the trickiest part for me, so I'm going to select that, Control C again, 
come to my document control V. What I need to do is try and nest these carefully around what's left of my piece of material here to try and make the best use of my material. You can see there that the tail kind of overhangs into my top ring there. So I might have to move my top ring over a little bit and try and figure out if we can fit all of it onto this one sheet. Move it right up into the top corner perhaps. There we go. Still overhangs a little bit, so obviously I'll need to move this one down. If in the case um, that not everything fits, I can always do a second document um, and use another piece of timber, but preferably we'd like to do it as sustainably as we possibly can with the material that we have. So I'm just trying to fit as many onto here as I possibly can. Clearly I need to move the other one up a little bit now. This one here, so we'll just move that up. Yeah, so I don't have any overlap there between any of those pieces right now. I do need to add in two more of these, so I'd still need to do that on a separate document, but you can see how we, we nest things together as closely as we possibly can and make the best use of the material. For example, if I thought that this circle here could be used again, I might be able to move that centering into another location. All right, that gives me another area that I could possibly use. And if you have small parts and things like that, the best thing to do is to try and figure out a small space to fit them into on your piece of plywood. And of course you'll talk to me about this when you get to this stage. So that's generally what you need to get up to, is, is placing it all on one sheet. Um, the size of this canvas again was 850 millimeters wide by 350 millimeters high. If that size has to change, I will let you know and we'll, we'll put it on an appropriate size. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Hope it's been useful.